Hello and welcome to your sixth C++ lesson on logical operators. Um, basically, there are three main types of logical operators, AND, OR, and NOT. So we're just going to go through them. First of all, we're going to do NOT. So here's our main sort of program structure. And we're going to create a new ball called, um, called something, just call it var1. And we're going to set it to true. So if we now see out, oops, if we now see out var one. Actually, that's just end line because we're going to be copying this later. Ah, there we go. Right, if we debug this, it's going to. What were you doing? Endel undeclared. Oh, sorry, I randomly typed namespace with two A's. There you go, using namespace stand. Sorry, let's try that again. There we go, one. Because one is true. So, what would happen if we said var1 equals not var1? Okay, that's a little confusing, right? Basically, var1 is true. Since there are only two options, true or false, not var1, so not true, is false. So if we now said var1 equals not, which is with a little exclamation mark, var1. So if we said, we're just basically setting var1 to not itself. Okay, that can be kind of confusing sometimes. And then let's just output var1 again. Then it should output 0. There we go, so 1, 0. So that's basically what not does. Not is just, as it sounds, it's logical not is not and you know there are some other uses for it but that's basically just showing you how to use it uh, next we have and now and and or are probably the most useful ones out of the three so and let's just create a new string and mm, no, let's not do strings let's use ints That'll be easier int of r1 equals 3 var2 equals 7 and we're just going to go a simple if statement here and we're going to say if var1 equals equals 3 so if var1 is 3 do this but what if we wanted var1 to equal 3 and var2 to equal 5 then we'd add and so and is a double ampersand is this little and sign so and var so hang on let's just see out oh what's with the caps yeah, see out if statement reached and else so if we do this now if statement reached but we want var2 to be 5 and var1 to be 3 so we add our and var2 equals equals 5 it doesn't output anything this is because var2 is 7 and not 5 so if I make var2 5 I'm going to debug it there we go, if statement reached and that's pretty much and um, and's used a lot of the time in if statements so you know this equals this and this equals this and you can go even further but you know and actually do this and this and this and this and this but this is just showing you how to use it. So, in fact, we can do pretty much, we can use the same layout for or. So, what if we wanted var1 to be 3 or var1, var2, sorry, to be 5? Um, or is this double little pipe thingy? On my keyboard, it's next to the shift and next to the z. It's squished between the shift and the z on mine. Um, and that's it. They look like this. So, if var1 is 3 or var2 is so we can set var2 back to 7 now and that should output because var1 is 3 if statement reached and if we make this make 7 and this 5 if statement reached and if we make this 5 and this 26 then nothing and if we just go both then you will see that if statement is reached 
because it's basically this or this, and if both of them, that's fine. It's not really bothered. So, they are the three main logical operators, and um, we're going to be using them quite a lot in later lessons in if statements. So, we're going to be going if this equals equals this, or blah, blah, blah. and uh, what's often quite good is you want to. What am I doing? There we go, right. So, we might have a char yn and what we can do is we can hang on, see how uh, do you want to exit y slash n so yes or no and then we see in yn and then we can say a lot of the time people go if yn equals equals y now the thing is, if they put in a capital Y, it's not going to recognise it. So we could say if Y n equals Y, or Y n equals equals capital Y, because remember they're different. Then you know X and whatever, and then you can just say else if Y n equals equals n, or y n equals equals capital N not to exiting and then we can just say else see out we didn't um, input one of the specified traces And L. So let's just try this. Hopefully, I've made my, no mistakes. Do you want to exit little n, not exiting? Do you want to exit big n, not exiting? Do you want to exit little y, exiting? Big y, exiting? And something crazy. You didn't input one of the specified choices. So that's logical operators. They're really, 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 really useful, and you'll lose, them. you'll use them a lot. So I suggest getting to know them. I mean, they're pretty simple, really. Most of this just, you know, two or one symbol. So that's the end of this lesson. Have a nice day.